Hi, this is Bobby from Ragged Poet. Welcome to Lena March Days. I think it's five, six, seven, and possibly eight. We'll see how we go. Um, day five and six questions were. Oh uh, yeah, what do you think? Day five and four and five. I think what makes a good deck and what doesn't make a good deck. For me. Um, <laughs> can answer them both in one thing what makes a good deck is one that you use and what doesn't make a good deck is one that sits on the shelf there you go simple apart from that i agree with what everyone else has said they need to have clear images not muddled um if it's like a key you want a nice big key not a key in a lock with a man holding it with three ducks walking along behind him and snow and rainbows in the background blah de blah so yeah a good deck Tarot all in one is one that you use. So that's that. Um, I'm not sitting down with cards in front of me for these videos. I'm um, I'm walking you around my house and my room and my crazy space and my mess. There's my witch's ball. And I might even take you outside onto my deck, into my garden. Um, well, we talk about the other things, the messages. Here we go. Let's go for a walk. Okay, we're going down the stairs now. Part some of my artwork. This painting here is called, I'll step back so you can see it. It's called Animus Anima. And you need to read your Jung to know what that's all about, but uh, yeah. And these are other work. That's another one of my paintings called The Guardians. Um, now we're going down the stairs through the hallway. Oh, look, there's a little kitty. Hello, Macaroon. And into the kitchen. And so, what are we on? Day the right. I've said what makes a good deck. Oh, wish list. I don't really have any on my wish list. Um, I want that Piatnik deck. I have their old tarot deck, which I love. We're going out of the door. The light could be a bit crazy here. We're going into the garden. Um, here's another kitty. Hello, Oscar. And we're gonna go and meet Gypsy, my goat. Yeah, I don't have a wish list. I try not to want things um, too much, so. But there's a few I've seen that I really like, but I can't officially say that they're on my wish list because I don't have a Normand wish list. This is Gypsy. Hello, Gypsy. Say hello to all your beautiful people on YouTube. This is my gorgeous boy. And Moon is over here. She'll get up. She's more timid than Gypsy. So she's probably gonna... Hey, Moon baby. You don't have to get up, darling. Hey, sweetie. She's a gorgeous girl. Right, so... Yeah, so no wish list. Um, messages. Uh, the Clover and the Rider, I think it was. Well, I've had a few good messages in my life. Obviously, my four children were amazing messages. Um, my grandson <laughs> another one um and i've had some more kind of like messages like delivered as in messages um my message my letter to say i got residency in new zealand which i fought really hard for for myself and my four kids for six years and it cost me a lot of stress and agony and I had so many times when I was given 42 days to leave the country and for six years I had no idea where I'd be spending the next month of my life whether it be in New Zealand or back in England so the message to say we were finally permanent residents was pretty amazing um, but that was certainly not fast so that was probably more of a ship and a, a ship kind of message than a horse rider kind of message um, and another one um, I got last year, which was really wonderful, was when my oldest daughter, Tabby, who's 23, um, had she'd been selected out of about 
thousands of nominees to win this Queen's Young Leaders Award for the New Zealand. Um, it was a Commonwealth Award awarded in 52 countries and they had to narrow down thousands and thousands of entries to 50 people. So we heard that she'd um, been nominated and was in the last 600 and something. And in last January um, we heard that she'd actually won it for New Zealand and <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Um, passing the Equal Rights Marriage Gate in New Zealand um, the video of the Waiata, which they sang in Parliament on YouTube, is went viral. Um, if you haven't seen it, go and look it up and bawl your eyes out. It's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. The most sense I've seen, heard from any politicians in such a small space of time, all sitting in one room. It was incredible. And another far more kind of mundane message, but nonetheless wonderful, I remember very clearly a few years ago I'd left my car in town because I'd had a drink and I walked home and I found and then I went back the next morning to get my car and I found a message on the windscreen and the message said I'm sorry I bumped into your car last night and left a dent in it and here's my contact details and my number now my car we call it the mothership because all my kids have learned to drive in it and their partners i've had it for over 10 years it's had several petrol tanks from driving it down rocky rivers and it's it's a wreck but it goes and it gets me from a to b and i didn't care about a dent but that message it was so amazing that someone had done that because people don't always and it just gave me so much faith in humanity and the human race so I rang up the person and um, I just said look I don't want insurance details I don't want anything but I just want to thank you for this message because it just made my day so yeah so basically there's some answers to the the rider and clover and question eight is about big journeys um, I can't remember the two cards now one was a ship and the house ship and the house Okay, well, I've already kind of talked about this a bit, but basically at the beginning of 2004, I made a huge move from England to New Zealand with four children under the age of 12, and I did it at nine days notice. From deciding to come here, which my children did because of Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings, to arriving here, but here's my ship. Um, we, I booked the tickets decided to come at the end of January, booked the ticket, the first five seats available and we landed in New Zealand on February, left England on February the 9th and landed here on February the 12th. Um, it was a huge crazy mammoth thing to do. Um, that was definitely a fast, that was a rider move not a ship move. <laughs> so yeah, um, there we go. So I've taken you around my garden, a bit of my garden. I've shown you my ship, my boat. I have other ships too when our stuff came from England with all my books and tarot decks and stuff. We'd lived here five years with like six suitcases and bits we got together and then suddenly a huge shipping containers arrived. So that was a real ship coming in moment too. There's moon again. shack because I love it and my pond is a bit low at the moment because it's been pretty dry over here but it has an island in the middle you can actually row around it um, and I'll take you to the shack now oh, that's someone crawling in the school next door wood pile it's actually a bit cooler today it's really nice because we've had a scorcher of a summer it's been crazy there's my shack when I first came here I used to pretend that was my house and lots of people believe me it's very kind of cool better from different angles but um, I'll take you ruin the flax bush there we go, the shack in all its glory, Blows. 
Oh, and one thing before I go, I'll show you. Oh, there's Oscar. Oscar has a story. He's actually a wild cat and he fell in love with our male kitten, so we thought he was female, which I shouldn't have done automatically, but... Um, and I realised that I didn't want this unneutered cat out there, so I got a trap from the SPCA and caught him eventually after catching just about every cat and possum in the neighbourhood and took him to get neutered and they said oh he's not a girl he's a boy which doesn't really matter in our family because we kind of don't do the gender thing very much um but he got neutered and then i had to i tamed him um but because he was a male cat and he was gay um and he was wild i called him oscar wilde so he's my little irish author cat um gypsy's following me look at this talk about little bo peep chippo Little Bo Peep was last a sheep and didn't know where to find them. The cats and the goats race each other around the garden. So I'm going to show you... Oh, I'll take you to see my little... one of my guardians. There you go. He's my guardian. And the entrance to my house, which is... The light's so bad here, but it's actually on the phone box. There you go. It's a TARDIS actually, not a phone box, and on the top is the whole the TARDIS thing. So now you are very honoured to have seen Shay Bob. Um, and on that note, I'm going to leave you. Bye.